All right, so let's take a tour of the garden. The garden entry, as you can see, comes through this trellis. These are a couple of different grapes. We don't have any grapes this year. I'm sure we'll get some next year. Um, as you walk into the garden on both sides, I've got perennials. So we get some nice flowers um, on both edges here of the garden. So as you walk in, we're confronted immediately with our herb garden. Um, now, the reality is, is the herbs are everywhere, but this is one central area. We've got basil, we've got a lot of chive plants here, this incredibly gorgeous sage plant. I don't use a lot of sage, but it's hard to imagine getting rid of this. Um, some beautiful young thyme plants, uh, a different kind of basil. This is a um, this is a Thai basil, so it's got a little bit of a lemony flavor. And then um, mint, 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 and more mint. So this is just a sweet little kind of herb garden, a nice entry as you walk through the trellis, creating some good vibe and energy. You know, as you take a sweep of the garden, you're gonna see here in the front section of the garden, we have kind of individual beds, long tomato bed, and then these two central beds where we've got peonies, um, and as you walk through the bed, you know, every little spot that I possibly can, I'm growing stuff. So we got peppers on the edges. Uh, I've got, you know, little leeks are tucked away anywhere and everywhere I can. Um, over here, we've got peonies and, you know, I'm planting beans everywhere I can and training them up anywhere they'll go. Um, here at the center tree, we've got some nice cucumbers starting to grow over here. Back. let's take a taste of this might be a little early but it's a kind of variety that I think mm. well that's good and as you look over here you'll see all these little beans are making their way up and I've set the structure up here so they'll be able to run right across in fact I've got beans on this side growing up they're making their way up this string this way. We'll take a look at some of the cutest little baby beans. There's one right there. Look at those cute little beans. So this front area, you know, just full of goodness. Everything here is vegetables other than that first starter. This is a tomatillo. I, I basically am planting stuff anywhere and everywhere I can. Every little, so here's another tomatillo plant and as you come underneath you'll see here we've got our little tomatillo skins that are forming and those of course from the inside out will kind of grow and when they're full you press on the skin and you got something there you're good to go so we've got eggplant over here and then as you kind of move past this frontal area of the garden you know if you pass through all this and you take this sweep out this way, the back of the garden is a single large square bed. Again, all vegetables, some herbs tucked away in here. We got a little bit of corn, some chocolate mint, some more beans back there. And then as you make your way over here, we've got our zucchini and squash going on. Come on over here, you'll be able to take a little peek at our little babies. Our first little babies of the year, right under here. And they're just so happy. It's been hard not to eat them. Um, this year we have gorgeous, gorgeous fennel. Come on down here, take a look at our fennel. Look at those bulbs on the bottom. I mean, that bulb is forming so nicely. Very healthy. These plants are rocking. And down here we have a white eggplant. So that's the first fruit of that one. More tomatillos. This is a, a whole kale kind of area here. I'm growing three different kinds of kale this year. Uh, so we're testing out some different varieties. And of course, the little critters around here love them. Some Brussels sprouts, as you can see, the critters are doing some severe kind of damage. The closer we get to the back of the garden. And then over here, this long row are leeks and the way I grow my leeks is in troughs and so over time what we'll be doing is taking the dirt from the side and kind of pushing it in and as the leek gets taller we'll just keep doing that 
so that uh, the bottom portion of the leek gets blanched and is beautiful and white and tender. Over here, we've got some more um, kale, we've got some lettuce, and, and then these are all different types of cucumbers, uh, which for some reason this year are taking a long time to get started. So that's the garden. It is mid-July. So we'll come back, we'll visit again in August, we'll see what things look like. Um, but from here, looking that way, it's kind of beautiful. It's a very sweet little garden, and there's just never enough room to grow more and more. Um, but so be it. We're still getting some good stuff.